So where were we? We had some trouble with JWT plugin in the previous episode. We had to install Octobro plugin to make uh, those routes work for us and so on. So in the last two or three weeks, I talked to Ricardo, the guy that actually makes the JWT plugin and we worked together to fix it. So he fixed, I think everything, including those error responses. So shout out Ricardo, thank you very much for helping us and making this work as it's supposed to. So in this episode, I'm just going to show you how to fix those bugs. Well, not actually fix them, uh, but how to uh, just adjust your application a little bit for all of this to work right. And in the next episode, we are going to t uh, take a look at those error responses, which Ricardo also fixed. Okay, so first of all, just a little recap. Uh, we choose a location, a pickup time, okay, okay, filter vehicles, choose a vehicle, continue. Now if we go right here and if I write something, right? So as you can see already, because I updated the Ricardo's plugin already, uh, we get the error response. And as you can see right here, we got errors. The login must be a valid email address. Okay, so let's log in. So log in. Now we are logged in, uh, this works. And if we make a reservation, the reservation works. Uh, we can check it out right here. So as you can see, we got this reservation, but uh, if I go to my uh, file manager, and delete this Octobro plugin. So I'm just going to delete it. Then you should go to your API and uh, run composer, composer update. Okay, so now the that, that composer update has run. Uh, you can see that it removed something. Uh, this was removed from that Octobro plugin. And now if you go to our app and try to create a reservation again, as you can see, we get this, let me just make this bigger. We get this access to H, uh, XML HTTP request. So we got this course error and now nothing works. Actually some things work, but this specifically does not. So of course we don't want to install that Octobro plugin, which has nothing to do with what we are doing, uh, but we want this to work as it should. So first of all, what you need to do, you need to go to your settings, update some plugins, and you need to update the JWT auth plugin. So you first of all, update that plugin. It should be at least version 1.2.5. I already updated it, uh, that's why I got those error responses. Next, uh, we will remove this Chorus plugin because uh, we are going to install a Chorus plugin from Ricardo, uh, the guy that actually makes JWT auth plugin. And that plugin should work for all your other routes. So uh, you just go to manage plugins, uh, click on offline cores and click remove. Okay, so we remove that plugin and now we want to install another plugin also called Chorus, but this time from Ricardo. So not this one, but this one. Okay, so now uh, you, you just go, let me refresh this. You just go somewhere here. As you can see, you can configure that plugin also and just set everything to be this star. So you would just do star and that's it, right? So allowed origins, everything, allowed headers, everything, allowed methods, everything. That's it, save it and we are done with that. Now let's take a look at our app. So I'm just going to go to home uh, and go to application just to clear this view X data. And uh, now I refresh the page, but as you can see, already we are getting errors. So we are already getting these cores errors. This is because we disabled, actually deleted offline cores plugin and installed Ricardo's. Now Ricardo's plugin 
requires you to wrap your routes into the API middleware. And that should be pretty easy. So let's just go to our code editor. And as you can see, I'm in my routes.php. Uh, we already ra wrapped uh, this create reservation route into JWT auth uh, middleware, but we need to add the API middleware to it. So like this, and I'm just going to copy this right here. And these are all my, all my routes. So locations list, uh, vehicles, filter ID, locations and vehicles. Okay, paste this in and uh, let me just move this in like this so it looks nicer and then we just close it, right? So you just wrap it in this API middleware, uh, but since we are not uh, requiring authentication for these routes, you can delete this jwt.auth. So it should be just like this. Okay, save this. And let's take a look at our application right now, refresh it. And as now, as you can see, we are not getting any errors. Uh, we just go to New York, pick a time, a drop of time, okay, filter vehicles, more details, continue. Uh, let's try wrong address. As you can see, this works. We are getting error responses. If we log in, log in, right? We are logged in right now, make a reservation. And as you can see, reservation is created. We can also check it right here. So under reservations, as you can see, now we have two reservations. That's great. So this is the way you would just make all of this works. The most important part I will just uh, repeat is this middleware API. So you just add all of your routes that don't require uh, authentication into the API middleware and those that require authentication, you add it to API and jwt.auth and then everything should work. Okay, so this is it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to handle error responses on our registration and login forms. And just remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.